Hey Scorpios, let's get into your messages at this time. Remember to take what resonates and leave what does not. Happy birthday, Scorpios. All right, let's get into your messages at this time. Messages for Scorpios at this time, Spirit. All right, we have, there is no light without darkness. And I want to give you a massage in reverse. <laughs> Scorpio, I don't know. Somebody could want to give you a massage, wanting to be intimate with you. You may be blocking this out, blocking this person out or whatever it is. Ignoring your intuition at the bottom, Scorpio. Do not ignore your intuition at this time. In the video I did of good things coming your way, it was strongly advising to not ignore your intuition. So, um, yeah. You know, somebody could be saying like, oh, Scorpio, let me just give you a massage. And that massage, one thing could lead to another, Scorpio. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know. Anyway, let's see what's going on here. <laughs> Talk about there is no light without darkness for Scorpios. Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. So, Scorpio, I feel like you're coming out of the darkness. There's some sort of golden opportunity presenting itself. Could be a financial opportunity, career, job opportunity here. But definitely a blessing from the divine coming through for you going through a dark period here. All right. What is this? Ooh, the lovers, Gemini energy. So, wow. Some sort of connection here that has the potential of becoming something solid. There is a strong mutual attraction between you and this person here, Scorpio. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini energy. I feel like this is somebody who's going to bring that light into your life. It's like you're going to be coming to realize like, damn, I really had to go through what I went through to, you know, meet this person, to have this opportunity. Give me a little more here for Scorpios. The three of wands. Your ships are coming in. It's like you didn't go through what you went through in vain or whatever you went through, Scorpio, it wasn't in vain. Your ships are coming in like that, Ten of Cups. So there could be some sort of like relationship coming together here, Scorpio. Six of Cups, soulmate energy here. Somebody could be really, like, really, really nervous when it comes to you, Scorpio. Like, just even the thought of you makes this person really, really nervous. They see you as, like, somebody who's almost unobtainable. Like, they see you as a dream come true. But also as, like, are you too good to be true? You know, Queen of Wands, the star. This is... <laughs> The sun, the nine of pentacles. Yeah, this person sees you as somebody who's like self-sufficient, independent, abundant. You may be in the spotlight or have some sort of public platform. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Give me a little more on this. <laughs> there is no light without darkness. Scorpio. The sun will come out tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, ten of swords, Scorpio. Yes, we know. We've, we've experienced a lot. All right. It may have been a very, very dark period, Scorpio. Um being stabbed in the back, being betrayed, painful endings, abrupt endings. But you didn't go through all of this for nothing because something beautiful is coming in here, Scorpio. There is no light without the darkness. You had to experience that to see things, to have that illumination, to have that clarity. 
You could have Leo in your chart. You could be dealing with the Leo. This, this relationship that I'm seeing here, because that's exactly what I feel like this is. You could be, it could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, or a Leo here. Wow. It's like the divine is bringing forth this opportunity, this new beginning to you and to both you and this person here, Scorpio. I feel like this connection is going to illuminate a lot of things, but like, in a, in a positive way. I also feel like it's going to bring in a lot of positivity. This feels very uplifting, very f full of positive energy, positive vibrations. <coughs> this connection could also really bring out your inner child, your creative side. Allowing yourself to be seen, allowing yourself to, um, like, this is a connection that will not dim your light, okay? If anything, this is somebody who's going to want you to shine, and you're going to want this person to shine and be themselves and, <coughs> excuse me, be open, okay? Tell me about, I want to give you a massage in reverse, though. Let's do <laughs> Let's see what this is about for Scorpio. Actually, let me use another deck. Let's see. I don't know if this is connected to the same individual here. Tell me about I want to give you a massage in reverse. Two of wands. So somebody definitely is planning on taking some sort of action to want to... Um, kind of bring, uh, they want to feel on you, Scorpio, period. I, I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> Six of cups. All right. This is somebody from the past. For some of you, this is somebody you have children with. You could be 26 years old. Um, you could be born on the 16th, the 13th, the 19th. The number 619 could be significant as well. You could be 36, 63. Um, all right, give me a little more on this. Somebody's like reminiscing Scorpio on like maybe when they used to give you massages, when they used to touch on you. And like they're planning on taking some sort of action when it comes to that. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody who's working on some sort of plan here. The, they could be reminiscing while they're at work. But why is this in reverse for Scorpios? The five of pentacles. Damn. You may be like leaving this person out in the cold, rejecting this person. Judgment. Three of swords at the bottom. And there's the ace of pentacles right there. Eight of Cups, there's the Three of Wands. You're making, you've made some sort of decision here, Scorpio. The Four of Cups, you're not interested. You're not interested. The Lovers, the Ten of Cups, the Six of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Two of Cups. Uh, first of all, I feel like you're moving on, moving towards something new. I also feel like, yeah, you know, at some point, maybe this was wish fulfillment, but I, I don't know. This is not something that brings you any sort of joy or satisfaction anymore. The Empress coming out or wanting to show herself. You got Taurus Libra in your chart. It's like you know that it's like that the Empress knows that not everyone or just anyone is worthy of touching on her or him. Okay. Like you're like, mm, no. 
So, Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody who's gonna who wants to take their time. They want to move slow, Scorpio. Um. <clears throat> mm -mm. Eight of Swords. The Emperor. Eight of Wands. This is somebody who was hoping. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is somebody who was hoping that, like, with this massage or this intimate moment, that they could get you like trapped or sucked in. Heavy masculine energy here. We've got Aries. Could be another Scorpio. Um, Eight of Wands. The Page of Cups. Yeah, somebody trying to move fast here. This person could be trying to send you a message, Scorpio, um, that saying that they want to be intimate with you. Yeah, Two of Cups, Queen of Wands, somebody who's super fucking attracted to you. Um, this could even be the father of your child or children. But I don't know, Scorpio, I feel like you are with that Four of Cups energy. Yeah, Six of Swords, the devil. Um... The Four of Pentacles. I feel like you're holding back. You're wanting to move forward. You're wanting to heal, move towards calmer waters. And then <clears throat> here comes the devil. All right. This, this person could be obsessed with you. Capricorn energy here. I don't know. I won't hold you. For some of you, this could be, it could be a little tempting. Okay. It's not going to be for everybody. But um, I ultimately see you holding back from this Uh yeah, seven of wands. Your guards are up. You're waiting for this new connection to come in. Okay. Well, two of pentacles. King of pentacles. Five of swords. Strength card. The ace of pentacles again. So for some of you, this could have even been somebody you were married to who is like this person could have been <sighs> six of wands. This person could have been like financially manipulative. All right. Financially abusive even. Um, but I feel like this is definitely whoever this is, this is this is an energy that you have over power you've taken your power back from whoever this individual is here scorpio um and i feel like you are definitely holding strong to this new beginning that you know is presenting itself or going to present itself here two of pentacles some of you could be kind of going back and forth on whether or not to let this person in i feel like most of you are blocking it out um this is somebody who could have been juggling between you and another person or just uh mm. some of the two of pentacles ace of wands and yeah okay the title card so this is somebody who was going back and forth on whether or not to like deal with you or go towards a new beginning nine of pentacles be single independent because maybe you are single independent here scorpio i don't know i feel like this is somebody who can't release you i keep hearing the song every time i try to leave something keeps pulling me back so there's some sort of codependent energy or obsessive energy somebody whoever this is can't release you okay Alrighty. Can I get a little more on this Ace of Pentacles for Scorpio? The Tower. So this is, I feel like this Ace of Pentacles, this new beginning, this opportunity is going to be coming out of nowhere, Scorpio. I feel like it's going to shock you, but it's going to be like, it's it's going to be a good surprise. You're not going to see, you're not going to see this coming. And that might very well shake up your foundation. Yeah. Ten of Cups coming out. <laughs> you're coming into... Um, I just heard the word alignment. I guess you are, you may be coming into alignment with somebody who's on the same vibration as you. This is the lovers and the ten of cups. This is not only something that's just, you know, where there's physical attraction, sexual attraction, and this magnetic type of connection, but it's also something that's emotionally fulfilling where there's a lot of deep, passionate love as well. 
Tell me about the three of wands. It's two people mutually choosing each other. So some of you could be creating a family with this person, blending a family with this person. Um, King of Swords here. All right. <clears throat> Okay, I'm getting a couple messages here. The person that may be coming in, all right, or that you're waiting for, or maybe you're not waiting for a particular person, but maybe you're waiting for somebody with these types of with this type of energy or these types of traits. Could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But King of Swords, somebody who has morals, who has ethics, they're honest, they're um very intelligent. They don't take shit from anybody. They're quick to cut a motherfucker off, okay? Um, somebody who's very logical. Wise. Now, um, the other message I was getting is that you may be in this King of Swords energy here, Scorpio, where you are not settling for less. You're not allowing any just anything or anyone to <clears throat> come into your life or enter your space i feel like you're very picky at this time you're very selective is the word i want to use very selective um you're very also like you can read people like a book right now okay tell me about the sun the ten of swords all right so there's that confirmation again of there is no light without darkness, Scorpio. So it's like seeing ev the, seeing everything that you had to go through, all this pain that you had to go through in order to get to the light, in order to get to this um, brand new, beautiful beginning. The Nine of Wands. You may still be a little wounded from the past here, Scorpio, when this comes in, Okay. But this is wish fulfillment, and I see you moving forward. Don't block out your, you know, don't close off your heart chakra. Don't close yourself off and close your feelings off. I feel like this came out in one of the recent readings, too, about not closing yourself off to love. If those of you are, you know, for those of you who are looking for love, but have, you know, been burnt in the past. Knight of Swords. Yeah, somebody's rushing in, Scorpio. All right. Three of Wands again with the Magician. Yeah, something you've manifested is coming in. <laughs> and for some of you, it could be coming in really quickly. It could be coming in rather soon. The Fool, the Six of Wands. I like it. All right. Messages for Scorpios at this time in regards to these messages. All right. We have manifest your soulmate. Light a pink candle while you visualize your soulmate. Prayers and wishes are very important for you now. This card also indicates that your manifestation will come into your reality soon. Confirmation. Delays and blocks. Your current love situation is affected by delays and blocks. These blocks may manifest as a result from someone not fully opening up to a situation or facing something. Um, for some of you, the delays and blocks could be this situation over here that I just read about. Okay. Rigid. There are invisible walls around you preventing love to come in. In order to experience love, you need to open yourself up and let your guard down. And that could definitely be due to the past here, Scorpio. So that's understandable. But this could also be the thing that's creating delays and blocks in um, your love life right now. Spirit is wanting you to have patience. Have patience in your love life in the situation have patience have patience with yourself okay letting go of desperation is important now love will not pass you by and er everything is in divine timing this card also indicates a time of non-action and stillness in a relationship then there's that chemistry coming out there is a mutual attraction between you and another person sexual attraction and passion are very strong both of you are attracted to each other like magnets so there's a confirmation, okay, of it being a soulmate, the confirmation of the chemistry, 
We have in the now. Being in the now is important for your love life at this moment. Release any expectations or worries about your future. Only in the now you can manifest and influence your current love situation. Acceptance and optimism. Staying optimistic and accepting your current situation helps you to attract more joy and happiness into your life in general. The right person will come to you when you are ready. Soulmate and intimacy. Yes, this person is your soulmate. There is a strong spiritual bond <clears throat> between you and this person. This card also pertains to new friendships with kindred souls and attracting the right people. Intimacy. Allow yourself to become spiritually, emotionally, and physically intimate with one another. Real sensuality and sexuality aren't based on physical looks only. Your energy is what makes you attractive and sexy. And at the bottom of the deck, we have past life relationship. Your souls know each other from previous lifetimes and you have been with this person together before. There is an instant attraction and recognition on a soul level. So that could be the six of cups I saw in the beginning as well. It's like when you see this person, when you meet this person, it's going to be like that instant recognition that you've known this person all your life. So we have red flags wanting to pop out in reverse. So this situation that you're going to be dealing with, Scorpio, this new situation, this is not somebody who's going to have red flags. All right. We have alone time, hermit mode. And true love coming out. So right now, you guys may be in hermit mode, wanting to just be alone. Spending some alone time and apart keeps a relationship interesting and balanced. This card also indicates time apart and being single. True love. The person you have in mind has pure love and good intentions for you. This person really loves you from the bottom of their heart. This relationship is based on genuine feelings for one another. At the bottom of the deck, we have chained and bound. Addiction and codependency are affecting your current situation or relationships. You may feel trapped in a connection, situation, and environment. Someone may act possessive and controlling. And that may definitely be whoever this person is over here, especially with the devil and the four of pentacles. This is very, like, this is heavy possessive energy. Um, mm. I mean, we have the devil and the emperor here. This is This could be somebody who's a bit of a narcissist here, Scorpio. Maybe a lot of narcissists. <laughs> but, um... Okay, get a couple more cards and then some advice. Messages for Scorpios in regards to these messages, please. We have Saradwen, goddess of rebirth. Call upon Saradwen to help you create change and transformation in your life or when you need a boost to inspire you. You have reached the end of a cycle. Don't fear this ending. Let it go so that something new can enter your life. <clears throat> Aniket, the embracer. Invoke the goddess Aniket for an overflow of abundance, blessings, success in life, and joy. You will have an overflow of blessings. Bastet, cat goddess. She assists mothers, healers, magicians, diviners, protects the home. Marriages promotes fertility, sexuality, and beauty. You can't truly be independent until you know who your independent self is. Be brutally honest with yourself. King Solomon, man of peace. He can help you with divine magic, manifestation, space clearing, wisdom, power, and wealth. Take control of your mental and physical power. Handle your addictions and patterns directly to set yourself free. We have Aphrodite coming out in reverse. I believe she came out in reverse in one of the recent readings I did as well. Um, Aphrodite Venus. She offers healing for broken hearts, wounded sexuality, lack of self-love, and connecting to your sexual self. Embrace your sexuality and nurture yourself. Dance with grace through all the stages of love. John the Conqueror. John the Conqueror can help with luck, personal power, success, financial gain, and accomplish just about anything. Find the courage to break free from fear and reclaim your personal power. Ch constantly choose, consciously, damn, consciously choose your own path. So yeah, Scorpio, reclaiming your personal power. I was kind of feeling that over here with that strength card. And then we have Mama and Bridget, Bridget, goddess of death and cemeteries. She can assist you in cases of domestic violence, unfaithful lovers, fertility, healing, as well as punish the wicked. Whatever came to an end will come back to you in a different form. Trust this new beginning that is approaching. So some of you may have been in a domestic violence situation with this individual over here. Um, this could have been somebody who was very unfaithful. Um, but this is, you know, punishing the wicked here. So Scorpio, this person may be getting their karma. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That Just as I said that, goddess Maya at the bottom. 
goddess of justice. Invoke the goddess Mayat for righting wrongs and helping truth emerge, finding common ground and balance. Whatever your situation might be, it will be handled with fairness and truth to bring back balance. Okay, let's get some advice here. Can I get some advice for Scorpio in regards to these messages? Yeah, and some of you may definitely have had to go through a major tower here, a major upheaval in your life in order to even, you know, you had to go through the darkness to get that ace of pentacles, to get this brand new beginning, something that's solid. It's like spirit is bringing you that reward for like going through the tower that you went through, bringing you <clears throat> a blessing for having to go through this. Advice for Scorpios. All right, we have two cards again, just like last time. Interesting. All right, so things could be happening in like twos, Scorpio. Um, we have number 35, Mama Quila, Mandala of the Moon. You could be 35 years old. Your birthday could be November 8th. You could be a life path eight. And then we have Amaru, beautiful place, number 26. You could be 26 years old. Your birthday could be November 8th. You could be a life path eight. You could be seeing uh, a lot of eights at this time as well. All right. All right, Mama Quila, number 35, Mandala of the Moon. I, the Lunar Mother, bring you my Mandala of the Moon to manifest through the law of magnetic attraction. My Mandala is the sacred portal through which your dreams, intentions, and visions shall pass into the wholeness of being from the realm of inspiration into the world of form on earth. There is no need for doubt or concern, for even the appearance of delay signifies that the divine feminine mystery is at work with timing unfolding according to a higher loving wisdom trust that a falling away is meant to be have faith in new divine works being born <clears throat> this oracle brings a sign that creative works will reach fulfillment relax with trust and the positive expectation that all your needs will be met this makes it easier for abundance abundance to flow and for all earthly and spiritual matters to fall into place according to great and loving higher intelligence Things are changing, even if you cannot see the physical evidence of this as yet. Trust that your actions are leading you into a better way of life. Rely on the universe and you shall see how all things come together according to a timing and higher order that suits you. In ways even better than you could have imagined your, by yourself. And then um, <clears throat> we have number 26 here. Oh, Amaru, beautiful place. Your dreams of a more beautiful world are not a product of childish fantasy nor idle imagination. They are true spiritual visions inspired by the universal heart of the divine that yearns for beauty to be manifested in all worlds. You have a life purpose to assist in the creation of divine harmony in the world through sacred activism and the expression of your soul talents. Believe that the beautiful world you long for is not only possible, but part of your spiritual responsibility to create. Don't be scared to face a problem head on. You don't need to be willful about a solution, but in meeting the issue, you shall simplify, simplify the complexity and recognize the practical steps that will create healing change. Keep your mind and heart open as you ask for unconditionally loving guidance on how to evoke divine healing in any situation. An outcome is available to you that is far more beautiful and divinely inspired than what, than what you can currently envision. Ask for divine help and trust unconditionally in the assistance that will lead you from the limitations of your current thinking into the perfection of what the divine wishes for you in our world. Okay. All right, Scorpios, if this resonated, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I love y'all. Until next time. Bye.